In this video, I'll be making a game in one hour. Stick around to the end to see what happens. So I started by making some art. So the basic idea for the game is that you're a chainsaw going up a tree and you try and cut bad branches while avoiding cutting good branches. So for the art, I need a chainsaw, a tree and some branches. And after doing all the art, I have 43 minutes left and I haven't even written a single line of code yet. So we should probably open up Unity. I imported all the art and I cut up all the sprite sheets. Now it was time to do player movement. I wanted the player to be able to press space and flip their character from one side of the tree to the other side of the tree. And after a little bit of coding, we had this. And that was the character controller done. So now it's time to move on to making the tree. To give the illusion that the player was moving up, I needed to make the tree move down. And after figuring out how that would look, I got to code in it. The code's pretty simple. Basically it creates the trees as objects and then it gives them a random sprite out of the sprites I made and the objects move down by themselves. Alright cool, that's done, and we have 26 minutes left. We still don't have an enemy for our game, so it's time to add the branches in. I'm not going to bore you with how they move, because it's the same thing as the trees, so let's just skip to when it's done. Oh, I'll fix that later. Let's, uh, let's move on to collision. Collision's quite easy, we just check if it's a good branch or a bad branch. If you hit a good branch, then we restart the game, and if you hit a bad branch, then we add one to the score. Speaking of the score, we should probably add that in, because otherwise the player doesn't know all they're doing. So quickly added that in, and it works. Now we have two minutes left, so it's probably time to do some bug fixing. This little bug here took about two minutes to fix, but I also managed to fit in making sure that the branches and the trees are moving at the same time, and just thought that we were done. So there is still a little visual glitch in the trees, but Overall, for an hour, I think it's a pretty good game. Thanks for watching this short video. Make sure you subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.